What's good, y'all? I'm Dr. Trey Hunter. Don't mind me, I look like a crackhead because I literally just left the sauna and I had a hard workout today, all right? But um, what I want to talk about today is the most important mineral that you are not incorporating in your diet, all right? So today, what we're going to talk about is magnesium um, and what happens if you're magnesium deficient and why you need to start incorporating magnesium in your day-to-day -day habits or your lifestyle if you want to make sure the scale is dropping properly, especially if you're on my program or you're on a low-carb diet. All right. So first things first, what is the purpose of magnesium? Um, the main benefits of magnesium, it helps lower your cortisol and it helps alleviate migraines. If you're somebody that's dealing with a lot of like panic attacks or somebody that's dealing with anxiety or depression, um, all these things might be a little alleviated if you are taking or consuming more magnesium. All right. Now, two, a lot of people already know the benefits of magnesium when it comes to like muscle cramping. Right. But also if your muscles are tight, right or stiff then that means you're deficient in magnesium all right magnesium also supports your thyroid um and your parathyroid hormone which basically allows calcium to basically move throughout your body long story short and it literally allows your thyroid to consume a good amount of calcium because believe it or not um your thyroid needs some form of calcium all right uh last but not least when it comes to magnesium it helps your body produce atp lowers cortisol as well once again i probably said that earlier but it helps your body create energy and it because your body's creating more energy if you're somebody that's like a runner or you're somebody that's trying to lift weights or you're living somewhat of an active lifestyle as you can see i just got finished lifting weights and doing some cardio then if you're deficient in magnesium you're going to notice that you're getting gassed way faster than usual all right all that comes from magnesium which is the most important mineral in all of them well, i'm talking about sodium potassium um, calcium, magnesium, majority or two thirds of the world, not just Americans, in the world is deficient in magnesium. You know why? Where do we get our main source of magnesium from? Leafy greens. Simple. So that's why I tell my clients all the time, hey, when you do decide to have some carbs, right, make sure you're focusing, prioritizing more leafy green carbs because these carbs actually have more bioavailable minerals that your body can use. Now, ironically, majority of Americans, we consume our carbs from what? Refined grains, refined carbohydrates. And these two, what they do is they actually chelate magnesium, which means what? If it's floating around in your body, your body literally is unable to use it because chelation basically strips and binds to that magnesium and now your body is going to excrete it. It's not available for your body to use. Okay. So if you're somebody who's really trying to make sure that you're seeing the scale drop um, and you're noticing that you're stalling for some odd reason or you're noticing that you're not getting an adequate amount of sleep as usual, then you need to go ahead and prioritize getting magnesium. Get some magnesium oxide or get magnesium um, eldoronate. Just get some sort form of magnesium um, at like, you know, a vitamin shop or a GNC, et cetera. All right. Now, part two, why you need more magnesium, especially if you're on my program, especially if you're trying to see the scale drop. What magnesium also does, it literally allows some genes to be expressed, all right? So every day, based off your environment and based off what you're doing with your body, your genes are gonna be expressed, okay? If you're over there wild and you're eating cupcakes and fruitcakes and smoothies every single day, you're gonna be expressing some genes to make your body store some fat. Your body is the ultimate survival mechanism. So it's only gonna adapt to what you do. And based off the stimulus that you're providing, it then it's gonna do what you tell it to do it's about do you know or if, if you're aware of what you're doing right so when you are um, receiving more magnesium and you're on a low carb diet what's gonna happen is now you're expressing a gene called PPA or alpha what this gene allows your body to do get accustomed with burning more body fat all right so now not only that your body's releasing body fat because you're on a low carb diet and you got um, ketones beta hydroxybutyrate going ahead and doing this thing what happens is now your body's getting more accustomed and it's able to burn more body fat, oxidize more body fat um, through a form of gluconeogenesis versus you're deficient in magnesium and your body is really saying, okay, cool. Well, we're not able to get any um, substrates, right? Which is also fat, carbs, or um, protein. And instead of your body breaking down a lot of muscle because you're magnesium deficient, it's gonna go ahead and use more fat. Okay, so that's why you need more magnesium because it's going to express the gene called PPA or alpha, which allows your body to be accustomed and utilize more fat. All right, which is why you need more leafy greens, have more protein on your plate, but make sure you have leafy greens as your main source of carbs, spinach, asparagus, bok choy, Brussels sprouts, edamame, it doesn't matter. Leafy greens on average, broccoli, 
You know, that's what you want to prioritize when you're on a low carb diet. All right. But tip number two, what magnesium does, it lacks your body, produce more ATP. Right. But the main reason why it's able to do so is because what your body literally does when it has a lot of magnesium is going to create more glute one receptors. OK, so long story short. On your muscles, you got glute transports. And basically what this does, it literally takes glucose out your bloodstream and pulls into your muscle, right? So if you got glute or more glute transporters, that means you're not gonna have a lot of abundance of glucose just flowing within your system. That is the problem. It's not the fact that a lot of uh, these carbs and we all heard that, oh, you need to demonize all carbs because it's gonna basically create glucose in your system and it's basically just flowing around in your bloodstream, which is literally corroding your arteries, right? But what's happening is because you have more glute transporters, it's not just sitting in your bloodstream, your muscles is using it. But if you're not active, then your muscles is not using it. It's that simple. So you need to be some form of active because your body is only going to use the glucose if you give it a reason to do so. So if you're waking up in the morning, you got your little Starbucks coffee, you got in the car, went to Starbucks, um, came back into your household and you're sitting around all day, working a nine to five, working remotely, then after your nine to five, you take a shower, put a scarf on your head and call it a day, your body has no reason to utilize this glucose that you're providing it throughout the entire day. All right, so that's why I want you to go ahead. And if you're somebody who's definitely active, make sure you're prioritizing or at least supplementing with magnesium because the average person on this earth is deficient in magnesium. That's why you see a lot of more episodes of panic attacks, anxiety, depression, migraines, etc. It's that simple. So if you want to feel better throughout your entire day, if you want to get better sleep, if you want to be able to go for a walk and you're not getting gas as much, um, if you don't want to get muscle cramps, which is going to stop you from working out, make sure you're not deficient in magnesium. And how you get majority of your magnesium, you get it from chlorophyll, which is the blood of the plant. And guess where chlorophyll is in? Plants, leafy greens. Simple. All right. Hopefully y'all learned something today. Um, and that's your reset tip of the day. It's going to help you stay snatched all the time, know the summertime. So all my clients, now you know, if you're noticing that the scale is not dropping as much, what I want you to do is get some magnesium, go to Vitamin Shop, GNC, get hooked up. Cool. Talk to you soon.